Mafia. Hey guys, my name is Amelia and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing this yellow cut crease look, so if you want to know how to achieve this, just keep watching. First, I'm grabbing my concealer brush and just dabbing on whatever excess product I had on there from before to serve as my base. Then I'm going to grab my bronzer and blend that higher in my crease in a cat eye shape. I'm also going to be blending that towards my nose bridge to help with my nose contour I'm going to be doing later. Today I'm using my ColourPop Good As Gold palette and I'm using the warm brown shade in there to blend right in my crease. You want to blend that right underneath the bronzer shade we used. And I'm just using a small fluffy brush. And notice here how I'm always brushing up to lift the eyes. Now I'm blending everything out with a big fluffy brush. It doesn't have to be too perfect since we'll be cutting our crease over it. Next, I'm using this Revolution Concealer in white. I'm gonna dab just a little bit on my hand and use my eyeliner brush to cut my crease. I've always had a really hard time figuring out how to do a cut crease, especially on Asian eyes, but I find that it helps me the most when I do it just with my eyes open and I line right outside of my crease, making sure that you can still see the concealer when your eyes are open. So I just do a little bit of the outline first and then I fill it in. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other eye. Before we continue on with the cut crease, I'm going to go ahead and put some tape underneath my eyes. I make sure to put it at an angle where I would want my eyeliner to be. Then I'm going to use the same palette and use the black eyeshadow in there as eyeliner. I've been using the tape trick for years and it's a great way to map out how you want your eyeliner to look so you can go over it with liquid later. I'm taking the tape off and voila! Now we can continue with our cut crease. Now that you have your eyeliner set, you can use that as a guide for the angle of your cut crease. As you can see here, I'm just following the angle of my eyeliner and lifting it up. So we're basically just working in sections here to create the full cut crease. Now that I have the end done, I can fill in the middle. Notice that I'm always drawing above my crease. This makes sure that my lid won't swallow all of the concealer and it won't be a full cut crease. And I'm doing the same thing for the other side. It's taken me a while to figure out all of the cut crease looks that work for my eye shape. So if you guys want any tips or a more detailed cut crease tutorial, you can leave me a comment and I'll be sure to do that for you. Cause let me tell you, the day I learned how to do a cut crease, I was reborn as a bad bitch. Now that we have the outline down, I'm going to use a flat brush and fill everything in with more concealer. Next, I'm going to use the yellow shade in the same palette and fill in my cut crease with a different flat brush.
This color wasn't quite giving what it's supposed to. I think I want to switch over to a more vibrant yellow look, so let's go find a different palette. This is a different ColourPop palette that I don't remember the name of at the moment, but I will have all the products I use listed in the description box. This palette is my absolute favorite for doing colorful eye looks. The colors are so vibrant and they come with gorgeous pressed glitters. Next, I'm going to use a super small flat brush using the same warm brown shade and just going over the crease again to make it look defined and cut. This is such an easy and underrated step that everyone should be doing when they cut their crease. It just helps it look so much more defined. Right? I decided I want my crease to shimmer more, so I'm mixing these two shades and just applying it with my finger. I think this just adds another layer of vibrancy. Next, I'm gonna apply my lashes really quick. These are Kiss Lashes in the style of Chiffon. I like to put the middle part down first, and then I secure the inner corners. And for the outer corners, I put it higher than where my eyes actually are, basically on the eyeliner. That way it gives your eyes a lift. I'm using my tweezers to push them in and lift up. Using the same fluffy brush, I'm blending everything out without touching the cut crease. Here I'm touching up my eyeliner, just bringing it out more. I'm taking a q-tip with some micellar water on it and I'm just going to clean up the lines so that the eyeliner, the cut crease, and the transition shades all lift up at the same angle. I'm also just cleaning my brow bone up a bit. Blend, blend, blend. Next, I'm going to take some tape and dab that all over my face. This helps pick up any excess product that might have fallen on your face while you were doing your eyeshadow. I always, always do this step before I move on to my base. And I just keep repeating it until I don't see any more shimmers on the tape. I'm priming my face with the Dr. Brandt Luminizing Primer. I did realize that I forgot to put on sunscreen, so don't do that. Wear your sunscreen. Now onto the base. I'm using the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation and I'm using about less than a pump. I'm really just focusing most of it on my cheeks to correct the discoloration. And I'm blending that out with my Love is the Foundation brush. When it comes to the base, I found that layering thin layers works the best to achieve a natural but full coverage finish. But of course, wear as much or as little as you like. This is just what works for me. I'm going in with my favorite concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm putting it underneath my eyes, some on my forehead, and a little bit around my chin. I'm going to blend that out with my favorite concealer brush. This is the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. And remember to blend up, 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 up. Next, I'm going to use the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Blush in Joy. Notice how I'm placing it really high, almost around the temples. I'm using the same foundation brush, and I'm blending up to give me that lift.
This blush is so pigmented and it blends out effortlessly. 10 out of 10. Next is the nose contour. I'm just using a darker colored concealer and I'm gonna contour my nose. Remember when we blended the transition shade into our nose bridge in the beginning? This is where I think it helps the most. That way it just makes everything blend together and seem so seamless. I'm using a translucent powder to bake my face. I'm putting it on all the areas that I highlighted with a concealer, and I'm also going to use it to clean up my nose contour a bit. I'll let that sit for a bit, and usually during this time, I'll go change my outfit or do my hair. Here, I'm just flicking off the places that have excess product, and I'm going to buff in the rest. Next, I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer to bronze my face. I like to make this fish face to bring out the natural hollows of your cheeks. Yeah, I used the hell out of this brush. It's actually my second one, and it's probably time for my third one soon. I'm also going to brush over my nose just a little bit. Next, I'm applying the Dior Backstage Glow Blush that I've been seeing all over TikTok. It really is amazing. And when I'm applying the blush, I'm blending it all the way up to my temples. Let's go back to the eyes. For the lower lash line, I'm using the same brown shade, using a small, dense, but fluffy brush, and just lining that all over my lower lash line. I'm using the same black shade with the same eyeliner that we used earlier, and I'm going to line really closely to my lower lash line, and just dragging it out, almost connecting the ending part of my eyeliner. I've been doing this with almost every single look that I do, and I just find that it gives me a really sultry and smoky look. I'm mixing these two colors together using a pointy brush. Notice that I'm dragging it down to the beginning part of my lower lash line. I think this gives you that sparkle. Since it's a gold shade and I got lazy, I'm just using that same shade to apply some highlight to my nose. Now we're going to do the inner corner liner. This little step has changed my makeup game so much. Look at the difference. This makes your eyes look so much longer and gives you that cat eye look. What I do is I draw a straight line straight out from my lower lash line and then I fill in the triangle going up, if that makes sense. If you want a more detailed tutorial, let me know. And because I'm Asian and I have very sparse lashes, I don't even bother with mascara. So I'm just drawing a couple of lines here to mimic bottom lashes. And I gave myself a little beauty mark, because why not? And the eyes are completed. I only recently started trying soap brows, so here I'm just wetting my spoolie brush with some setting spray and I'm going to dig into the soap. I got the soap for super cheap on Amazon by the way and I'll link it in the description box below. Now I'm brushing up to lift my brows and work the product in.
Once my brows are nice and lifted, I'm using the NYX Brow Flick to fill it in. I'm using super gentle strokes to mimic brow hairs. I'm really only filling in the beginning of my brows and elongating the end. Then I'm just using a random brush and I'm going to press down on my brow hairs to make sure they stay all day. For highlight, I'm using another ColourPop product. If you can't tell already, ColourPop is my favorite brand. I don't remember what this highlight is called, but one of my favorite YouTubers, Kathleen Lights, used to rave about it all the time. For the lips, I'm going to line my lips with this deep rosy color, and I'm going to overline just a little bit. Once my lips are lined, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Sheer Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Warm Verbena. It ended up looking slightly warmer than I wanted it to, so I'm going to go in with this ColourPop lipstick in the shade Ariel, just to give my lips a more peachy sheen. Can't forget the gloss, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. This is the perfect gloss if you want to lighten up any lip color. Lastly, I'm using the Essence Brightening Powder just to brighten up underneath my brow bone a bit. And we're done! This is the finished look. It's a warm yellow cut crease that's so sultry but so wearable. I had so much fun making my first video. You can follow me on Instagram if you want and let me know what are some looks you want to see. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.